This place here is beautiful Natai Beach. This is Natai Pier, but unfortunately it will be soon demolished because it's deteriorated too much. It's now closed, but the view from this pier to the beach is really stunning. Hi, my name is George. I like to share my views on mindfulness, how to achieve inner peace and how to be truly happy. I will now continue to share my story with you about my mindfulness journey. But first, if you want to see more of similar content, check out my channel and subscribe. As I said in the previous video, my business started in one moment to overwhelm me and I felt like I cannot continue like that. I needed a break. But first break and probably the most important happened by chance. I was almost forced to go to a vacation in Egypt. Because I could not really relax, I feel bored. Luckily, there was one diving center in the hotel. I decided to kill one day trying out this strange activity. I never like to go on vacation on the sea because it seems there is nothing to do while there. I was even not a very good swimmer. So I did not have any high hopes that this diving will be any different. I was terribly wrong. The moment I got under the sea, everything has changed. It helps that th that was the Red Sea, of course, the most beautiful and colorful sea that you can imagine. I instantly knew that that was it. So many colors, life, and unbelievably calm and quiet. After I came back to Serbia, I took my scuba diving course and certification and never looked back. I had a great instructor and scuba diving becomes my passion. In the beginning, I was worried that I cannot endure a whole week on a boat and that I will stay hungry because I don't eat fish. Of course, nothing of that happened and those trips are still the moments that I enjoy the most. Every chance I had, I went on some scuba diving trips and enjoyed every moment. On those vacations, I was able to relax and forget all the troubles and challenges that waited for me at home and at work. I even started to switch off my mobile phone as soon as I arrived at the airport and not switch it back until the whole duration of the trip until I got back. Fortunately, in my company, I had some outstanding and reliable colleagues, so I could leave the company in safe hands. Sometimes they even made better decisions than I would. Diving community, my diving buddies, showed me that you can become unattached from everyday problems and just enjoy the deepness of the sea. This group of extraordinary people meant a lot to me and even now I look to spend as much time with them as possible on various diving trips around the world. One more fortuitous event in my life was when I met someone who taught me how to enjoy everyday life moments. The craft I totally forgot. I have really felt better, but I knew I wanted more. On one of my scuba diving safaris, I went to Thailand. It was not my first time, but it was first time we had some more time to explore the stunning country. It is known that Thailand is land of smiles, and it really is. One day we hire a local guy to show us a little more about real Thailand. He proposed to take us to one native Thai restaurant for the real Thai people and real Thai meal. The food was completely different from what we eat in restaurants for tourists, and I immediately fell in love with this food. To this day, if I must choose the best thing here, is the food, spicy and rich in all kinds of tastes. He spoke about the Thai way of life with its Buddhist roots, was so honest and inspiring that I thought that it will be 
enjoyable to live here for, for a while. There and then I decided to start to plan my change of environment and the way I perceive the world and most importantly the problems that are an integral part of everyone's life. I needed to learn how to obtain and adopt this peaceful view that Thai people had. As soon as I got back home, I started to search for places where I can learn more about meditation and mindfulness. I never was, and I think I still am not a religious person. I do not believe in afterlife or supreme being that rules our destiny. But I am sure that you can be a better person and to lead your life in harmony with other living humans, animals and environment in peace with the planet, if I can say that way. In the following videos, I will continue this story and how yoga and meditation help me achieve inner peace. I hope these stories will help some of you to embark on the mindfulness journey of their own. Let me know what you want to know the most. How can I help you with my experience? In the following weeks, I will tell you more about things that led me to start contemplating my plans for change. You can find out more following the links in descriptions below. Please comment, subscribe, like, share and help me grow this channel. See you next week.